Hey everybody, Von Stapler here, and I am back again for a wee bit more Minecraft. Um, today my plan is, as you I, as you can see, I built this little thing here. And why have I built this? Well, this is going to be my uh, small three mile island, more or less. Um, there are chemicals and such in this mod, in the Better Than Wolves mod, that are very, very volatile and can cause small explosions or large explosions, depending on how many are there. Um, what I've been doing is you can use a millstone to grind up netherrack, which I don't have any at the moment, which you can then run through a, uh, once you have that ground netherrack, you can run it through a, uh, hopper with a soul sand filter to create something called, uh, oh, hellfire dust, which you then put in a cauldron to create concentrated hellfire. Now, my setup as is is not particularly efficient. It it simply isn't. Um, I have to take stuff from here after it's all been spit out, run it all the way up here, toss it into here, collect it from here, and then wander back down and put it into this. So what I want to do instead is I will uh, create several more grindstones, set them up in a uh, probably 3x3 three three area, so one here, one here, one here, and one here. Fill in this, or... Uh, Oh, put water in this area that all leads down to one corner. And then underneath here, all of that, after it gets spit out, will fall down in, get sent down to one of these hoppers, which will also be powered, because if it's not powered, it breaks it. And then from there, I it will, uh, oh, hopefully be shunted down into a, uh, thing with the stuff and the things. No, um, get shunted down into a chest or into this, or into one of these, a cauldron with fire underneath. So that is my plan. After that, I also want to go to the nether to collect, of course, more uh, netherrack and glowstone. Uh, I need to... Oh, actually, before I do anything else, I should show you what I've been doing with the garden. Um, I have made it bigger and better, but not in a way that you would normally expect. Um, instead of going sideways or back that way or forward this way, I have instead decided to go down. So under here, we have my wheat farm, which is in need of pruning. And then under here, I'm going to have my underground hemp farm, which will be expandable that way and that way. And I will have uh, this uh, light stone block thing that comes with the mod that's redstone activatable and is slightly brighter than glowstone. So I'm going to have that run all the way out along and all the way out along here. So, and it, uh, there won't be a switch. Actually, I might rig it up to a switch just for the fun of it, but it's not very efficient or it's not like anything I'm going to turn off. But then I'll actually be able to have more hemp, because hemp production is key. So, before I do anything else, I'm going to collect this hemp once more. Uh, get this all churning and going into uh, hemp fiber. Um, I'll put together all the supplies necessary, and then we can start on the actual job, which will be pretty cool. Um, doo -ba doo -ba doo boop -ba doo boop doo Doop, doop, doop. And doop. Okay, so we collect all this. Put all of you in there. A lot of hemp seeds now. And 52 here. That's actually not a whole crap ton of fiber, really. Hmm. Ah, well. It'll be okay. Up here, you can see I have my nether portal. Which I have set up. I've also started a library, which will be cool. Up here, I figure, uh, or not this one. This one, yes. This will be my little, uh, up here, or in the tower woodworking facility. Um, I'm, I'll probably have another building that'll be for, like, mass tree production and such, but for now, this'll do for turning, uh, planks into these panels and such, and gears, because you can actually turn panels into gears far more efficiently than you can turn anything else. So let's go hemp fiber, put you in here. Grab all of you. I'm not going to have near enough of anything, but... Eh, why not? Let's give it a go. Give me more rope. Give me that rope. Anything else? No. So, put the hemp fiber back. Wait, I have a stack of 64? Where did I get it? I am so dumb sometimes. So very dumb. Okay, and actually, you know what? 
Let's go age. This and this. There we go. Now I have four left, which is far preferable. Toss all y'all in there. And that stuff can wait uh, while I go and do this. Oh, actually, I need to. I'm gonna need a lot of uh. That's interesting, I didn't know you could turn it back into a panel. You need a lot of axles. Like a whole lot of axles. But that'll be okay. So let me see, turn all of you into panels. You can actually see how this works. Actually turn a good number of you into panels. I don't want to get too close to the saw because it will cut me. Oops. Crap. Alright. Cut. 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 Doop -a doop -a doo. And then I'm going to go turn these into axles, and then from there I will uh, get the whole thing set up. I just need to get together a bunch of material and crap. All right, I'll s uh, uh, one moment, please, and I'll talk to everybody in a moment. Moment, moment, moment. All right, we are back, and this is the general setup for how this is actually going to work. I haven't actually dug out under here yet, and I left my shovel uh, back at the one place. But damn it, I can fix that. Um, so. What I want to do right now, though, is go upstairs and actually work out how this will legitimately work. So let's clear all of this out. Okay, so now we have the hole. What's going to happen is, we have one, two. I want, what do I want? One at all. Um. Actually, what I may wish to do is go cut into here and move this one up. Oh, nope, that won't work. Could move it two this way. Actually, that that would probably be best because that would save me one uh, gearbox. Nope, I don't want to break it with anything that is breakable. Okay, break you. So I'm basically redoing this entire thing. But it's okay. It is alright. So put you, Mr. Axles, in there. Go like that. Cover up this hole. And put that there, because why not? Not. Um... Like that. And that. And braid you. Har har har. Now. One. Two. Three. And. That didn't work. Damn it. Stupid thing trying to face me. There we go. Now, that will power upward. What else do I want to do? This has one, two. I believe, yep, one, two. Put one on top. Nope, I said one on top. And, oh, nope. What the? I don't want to put anything in it. I want to... I guess I need to go from the top. Damn it. Jump down here for no reason. Um, nope, that won't work either. That was terrifying, and I just messed up again. Okay, all right, this time I got this. Nope. Okay, so what's going to happen is 
I'm gonna build up here just for funsies. Then I'm gonna hop back down here, put that the wrong way. Of course. Uh, there. Now, wait, that's backwards. God damn! Why don't you tell me when I make these mistakes, guys? Come on. I'm stupid. But it's okay. You'll forgive me, right? Right, guys? Right? <laughs> um, what I need to do is power this in the direction that the power is going to come from. So, for example, he needs to go there. Like that. Um, the one that's going to go on here needs to face me. Or wait, no. This one has to face me. But... I will figure it out. By God. Break both of those. Break off this one too, just why not? Actually no, that'll that'll work. Shit. Two. So we have power going to that. And power going to that. And then Power going to that, and hopefully this won't break things. It might, but hopefully not. I haven't actually tried having this many things hooked up to one power source, but I'd imagine it would work. I mean, now let's fill in this area just for safety's sake, I guess. Okay. We have power to three. Power to four! Yes! Victory! Alright. Now, what's going to happen is... What? What's going to happen? It's all going to get... Hmm. It's all going to get ground up. Then... Let's put... One of you here. Hop back out, grab another one. One there. That ought to make sure that everything goes down into the one corner. Now what? I need to make sticks. Several shovels. And all that, and I will be back once the area is actually excavated. So, again, I will see everybody in a moment. All right, we are back, and I have actually completed the entire mechanism. So, to give you a quick tour, up here you can see uh, the power goes from the windmill down into here, into these four, as per as we had it before, actually, um, into the four grindstones down beneath, the, and also down here. But that's something else. In these four grindstones, of course, I put the netherrack or whatever I want to grind. And I might actually want to fill this up partially so they the stuff can only fall downwards. But I mean, that loss is probably going to be really minor. Anyway, stuff gets tossed into here. Let's say this stone. I toss it in, and it all gets swept downward into here, where it falls on this. Uh, the netherrack itself will be uh, processed by this. Then falls into here, down this, out the bottom of the chute. I, ju I realized partway through that I didn't need the chute, but I decided, meh, whatever. And it falls onto the cook pot, which then cooks it. And that is my Rube Goldberg machine for the day. Um, <laughs> now what we need to do is put it through its actual test, which is to go to the nether, get a bunch of netherrack and hopefully glowstone and a little bit more soul sand and all that other good stuff, and do it. Just, just do it. Because I have currently... Uh... 13 concentrated hellfire. And that was from nearly a stack of uh, netherrack. So, it uses a lot. Like a lot, a lot. To the nether. You can see uh, there's that goddamn gravel. Random, random gravel that uh, I was out here and then a gas shot next to me and I fell nearly to my death. It was a bad thing. Now, let me see. Grab you. Just for lighting purposes. Lighting up porpoises. 
Um, let me see. Looking for the closest concentration of glowstone as well, because that's something I want. Oh, uh, it's like up there. So, I'm going to dig up that way. Gather soul sand as I go. Ah! Go away! I never loved you. Never. I can't see a damn thing. There we go, that's better. Marginally better. Toasty. Um. Ah. There we have glowstone and more glow and lava and a lot of very close glowstone actually. Hooray! Hmm. I wonder if Notch ever. I think he made the uh, zombie pigman fireproof. Because I was imagining, you know, you could go run over and uh, roast a zombie pigman, and then his friends would never know. But if they're fireproof, then that'd be kind of useless. This ought to allow me to make plenty of the uh, light glass stone stuff. Which is cool. How much do we have? We have 27. That is not... Oh, we have more than 27. And each one of these, with glass and redstone... Actually, I have more than a stack. Wow. Each of these with more... Or with uh, three pieces of glass makes one piece of the... Or one piece of glass and one piece of redstone can make a glass thing. The light glass stuff things. Um... What else? I need... Still need a good bit more of this, but that shouldn't take all that long. I'll see if there's any soul sand nearby, because it's useful for traps and so That is a massive amount of, uh, glowstone. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome glowstone. Let's get, a uh, two stacks, yeah. Why not? Why not, indeed. I remember when I used to get freaked out by the nether. Seems kind of silly now. Seems almost friendly, you know? Friendly. Give me a hug. Hug, hug, hug. Yes, I did just... Yeah, <laughs> I did, in fact, just hug a zombie pigman. Not sure why, in all honesty. There, now we can see a wee bit better. 62, 63, and 64. Now we have two stacks of, uh, glowst- or of, uh, netherrack. Now I just need to find my way back down. I think it was over here? Yes, it was. Okay. Um, 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 um. Um, 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 um. I'm glad that, uh, issue has sorted itself out. When I actually first came here, I think it must have been my texture pack. But, um... It was making the background red uh, flicker, which was both unnerving and a little bit irritating, so that was awesome. Let's fill in this, actually. I can grab a little bit more from elsewhere, but... My god, this stuff just eats up your pickaxe. Okay, returning to the overworld! Victory! Of course, it's uh, approaching nighttime. So, to bed. To bed. To bed, to bed, to bed. Bed, bed, bed. Bed, bed, bed. Ah, there's bed. Going to sleep with the uh, wonderful sounds of clanging machinery in the background. Reminds me of uh, school a little bit. Uh, actually, reminds me of living near a road, but 
Down we go. All the way down, I should make an elevator. That's kind of low on my priority list, though. At the moment. And we can give this a try. Now, you will notice when I put this uh, nether act in there that there are some peculiar noises. And by peculiar noises, I mean the screams of the damned. The terrible, terrible screams of the damned. But, let's uh, watch. And not listen, because my god. Okay. It's working, it's working! Oh my god, it's working, this is so fantastic. You can see it falls down as the uh, brown stuff gets turned into this falls down here through that and into here where it gets turned into hellfire dust or not getting cooked why is it not getting cooked why are you not getting cooked hmm we have a problem Houston, we are having problem. Could it be that the water is uh, right on top of it? Because that would be lame. Hmm. Are you cooking now? Oh, I d did it not have enough. That is that could be a problem. Let's see. That will those nine will definitely be enough. Toss it all in. Okay, it just didn't have enough. That is better. I was confused for a moment. Also, I have water flowing uphill, which is ridiculous, and... What the... I don't want this! Where is it coming from? I can hear evil... What the... It's throwing it, like, crazy far. I guess it just sometimes spawns it outside of... Just... Chuck said, did you see that? Oh well. Not too massive a problem. Most of the stuff is making it down, and that is what matters. I will refine this, I'm sure, eventually. Um, okay, it's doing that a lot now. Is there any on the other side? Let me check. Yeah, that happens a bit. That's irritating. I'll find some way to fix it, I'm sure. But yeah, now we have a fully automated, uh, refined hellfire stuff thing. Concentrated hellfire. So, now that we have this, I'm going to leave the streams of the dam behind, let them do their thing, and then go make some hibachis and a, uh, bellows. Yes, bellows because that is something that I need to do. And then in the next episode, we will go on a search for clay. Clay, I say! Um, what I need... What do I need? I think... I... One, I need to get some uh, smooth stone going. That is one thing I need to do. Because hibachis require it. And each hibachi requires... Uh, oh, iron. Did I forget any more iron? Nope. Hooray, that is that is a lot more. I have a lot of iron. Um let's actually toss some what was it? Stone. In here. That was it. That'll get a good bit done and it'll use up some of my goddamn useless saplings. Let's put half of the saplings in there. I swear I don't need to I do not need thirty six trees. I just don't. So while that is going, I'm going to turn these into uh, panels. Because... Because why? Because I need to. Got it. And it is Thursday, which is fantastic, because as the song goes, it's Thursday, then Friday comes next. Um, I'm sorry for all of that. I... I, I don't know what came over me that was bad of me to do. Um, but, eh, you'll probably forgive me. I think? No? 
let me actually check the uh, recipe guide one more time, or actually, yeah, hopefully one more time, probably more eventually, but, all right. All right, there it is, I have it now figured out. Um, it requires both redstone and glowstone, plus the concentrated hellfire. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to grab more of this smooth stone. Gonna need a lot more smooth stone. Gonna grab all of this. More smooth stone. And go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. This will give me two of them, which will be good. Oh, actually. Actually, I'll put all of you there. Be able to make three hibachis, which will be cool. And. Give me that. And there we have it. Hibachis. Which, um, I will make a. Uh, another building, another, like, off building kind of thing for, uh, the kiln. I'm going to need clay for the next episode, so I'll probably make a small, uh, airship to scout around for it, but actually let's go check on this, see how it's doing, see how much has been wasted due to the weird glitch toss out through the walls. Oh, a lot of it. Damn it. That sucks. Ah, uh, well. So it'll need a little bit of babysitting. Actually, probably a good bit of babysitting, but also I think I may need to toss these in one at a time just so it doesn't overload the, uh, thing at the bottom. Streams of the damned. That's so cool. That is just so awesome. And... Yay! Alright, this has been Von Stapler. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope it taught you something if you have this mod. Um, and I will see everybody later. Have a good one!